An inevitable fact about your side-by-side -side is that your axles will, at some point, become worn, damaged, or even broken. This video is sponsored by GSP North America. Over 35 years of manufacturing CV axles, loaded strut assemblies, hub assemblies, and much more. Visit gspnorthamerica.com for more information. Whether you're on a ride over rough terrain going 70 miles per hour or on a relaxing cruise across some scenic trails, axles can break. At one point in your riding career, you will probably experience an axle break regardless of how you ride. Most side-by-side -side parts are easier to break than the parts found on your automobile or truck. Aside from tire and belt failures, broken CV axles are the most common issues owners encounter. When a drive axle fails completely, it can leave you stranded on the trails and possibly in the worst possible conditions. Knowing about the problems and symptoms of drive axles can help you prevent a breakdown and a ruined day of riding. CV axles can fail for a lot of reasons, one being wear and tear. Another problem for many is ripped or torn CV boots that can ultimately cause complete axle failure down the road if they are not fixed quickly. A ripped CV boot will cause the joints grease to escape and allow water and debris to enter, ultimately causing failure. Additionally, the boot protects the joint from getting introduced to water, dirt, and rocks, which will shorten the life of the axle joints. How do you know if your CV axle is starting to fail and needs replacement? Here are a few common symptoms that may help you to determine if you need a new axle. You hear a clicking noise when turning, especially on very tight turns where your handlebars or steering wheel are almost fully turned. Drive in a circle at slow speeds. If the noise gets worse or louder, it's probably time to replace the axle. If you hear or feel a clunk when accelerating, slowing down, or when you put the transmission into gear. When you put your side-by-side -side in gear, you may likely hear a sudden clunk noise as the vehicle struggles to get power to move forward. A humming or growling noise is emitted due to a lack of lubrication in the CV joint. A tear or hole in the CV boot is usually the cause of not enough lubrication. A steady knocking while driving at lower speeds could also be an indication of a bad CV joint. You feel a shudder on acceleration. This can be caused by excessive play in the inner or outer joints, but it is usually a worn out inner joint. If you're experiencing any of these issues, it's best to perform a thorough inspection on your side-by-side -side and determine which axle is causing the problem before hitting the trail. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.